What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yes, yes, yes. We are live. We are one minute early. You know what? My fraternity always told me to be early is to be on time. To be on time is unacceptable. They told me something else, but what's going on, everybody? We're going to give everybody just a little chance to, to jump in. We are live. This is our first, first live on Instagram. We're going to be doing this every Wednesday for Wedding Wednesday. Now, you see I got my glasses on. So just letting more people get into the chat or some people to get in the chat. But you know what? We're going to archive these videos on our YouTube channel. If you're not following us on YouTube, you got to make sure that you're following the House of Grey on YouTube. The link is in the bio. That's where I put all the wedding trailers, all of the full feature wedding films at in YouTube. I'm going to stop posting them in IGTV because I Instagram ain't doing me no love right now. So we're going to post reels. We're going to post the trailers in IG. But we're going to start posting the full feature length um, wedding films over there on YouTube. So we definitely want you to be a part of our YouTube community over there. And guess what? I am, fun fact, I used to be a certified teacher back in the day, um, so I do have my agenda, I have notes, so you may see me look over because I want to make sure that not only am I giving you value, but also I'm not wasting your time, and it is 801, so we're going to begin, listen, 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 this live, this is Wedding Wednesday, so every Wednesday, we made an executive decision to start at 8 o'clock today, but moving forward, moving forward, we are going to go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So all my California brides, all my military people, that is 4 p.m. So I, I get it, you know, um, but... We just want to make sure that we are respecting people's time. We know people have jobs, work, kids, and everybody can't make it. Now, you guys tell me what works best because, you know, we can do it at 9 p.m. if you want to on a Wednesday. But I'd rather do it between 7, 8, 9. But right now, we're going to say 7 p.m. It just works better for the East Coast people. I'm sorry. Um, but we're going to get everybody else in, too. So what is Wedding Wednesday? Why are we going live? Hold on, y'all. Got my tight pants on. So why are we going live? I can't see the bottom. So why are we going live? Wedding Wednesday. When, oh, y'all talking about these glasses. Yeah, I wear glasses, y'all. I know y'all never see me at shoots with glasses on, but I do wear glasses. So Wedding Wednesdays is our way. The House of Grey. I'm sorry. Welcome to the House of Grey live chat. Wedding Wednesday. I am Dorian Gray. The creator, sorry, yes I am, the creative director of the House of Grey Weddings based here in Atlanta, Georgia, where we provide romantic weddings for the adventurous bride. That's our tagline. So, Wedding Wednesday is basically, so greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm a little ADHD, y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm turned up, I'm hyped. I've been waiting. No, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got. You know what? I gotta get. I got. I gotta do it right for y'all. Uh, that's right. Now, now we rocking. Now we rocking. I got my my red carpet. Got the red carpet vibe going on. <laughs> so anyway, look. Wedding Wednesday is our way of adding value to brides. Whether you're a house of great bride, whether you're somebody else's bride. Whether you're on the fence thinking about becoming a House of Great Bride, because we definitely want you to become a House of Great Bride. Um, not just because we want your money, but because we have an awesome experience from the time you call to a year after your wedding. It's a beautiful experience, and we would love for you to experience what we have created. I'm going to take this off right now because I don't know if that's too glittery. Um, got my key on, got my key to the house. Make sure y'all got y'all key to the house. If you're a house of great bride, you know what this is. This is your key to the house. This unlocks so much at the house of gray, right? Got to have them keys to open them doors, but we ain't going to drop jewels right now. So look, wedding Wednesday 
is our way of giving you value. And what do brides value the most? What is the number one thing that's on a bride mind, new bride, right? Someone who just engaged or somebody that's planning a wedding. We looked at everything and we looked at everything that everybody else was doing. But the number one thing that we think that we can add value is financially. Spending that money. You know what I'm saying? Weddings are expensive. Weddings are expensive. I know. Especially if you did not plan for a wedding. Now, some girls have been, I like to call, I know you're women, ladies, you know, I like to say girls because I used to watch the Golden Girls growing up, whatever. Um, don't judge me. But yes, you know, we'll talk about who are my favorite, you know, Golden Girls. But and if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, don't play me. Don't try me. Don't try me. Don't try me. All my Golden Girl fans, everybody that used to watch Golden Girls, I know I may be dating myself, but I don't care. If you like Golden Girls, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Like I said, this live will be archived on the House of Grey YouTube page. So definitely look in the bio, click that link in our link tree so you can go to the House of Grey YouTube. All my brides, every single bride, every single person that we ever shot with, we need you. We're we need you to go to our YouTube page, click subscribe, be a subscriber. We don't even have a URL yet because we just lost it, right? Not too long ago for the House of Grey. So we need as many subscribers so we can get the House of Grey URL, URL and so that we can continue to bring you amazing content because we've got so much. But forget about that. What is Wedding Wednesday? Wedding Wednesday is basically our way of staying in touch with our community. And what is our and who are in our community? Our gray brides, our gold brides, our house of gray brides, as well as any other bride. Because we're here for you, regardless if you're paying us. It's not about the money. I know weddings can be expensive, especially if you don't have the money, but we're really here to give. We're here to plant seeds, okay? The Bible. Yes, I said the Bible because we believe in God around here. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. Shout out to Pastor Jimmy Stevens, our wedding counselor, wedding, you know, he do all the wedding counselor and stuff. So we'll be talking about all that later. He's not our vendor spotlight tonight. So, um, we'll, but shout out to Pastor Jimmy Stevens. Follow him on Instagram, Jimmy Stevens. Um, I'll get, I'll put it in the comments, how to follow him and everything. But we just wanted to add value to brides. And the biggest way that we thought we could add value is by helping you save a little bit of them coins, huh? Little bit of them coins. So that's really what the meat of Wedding Wednesday is going to be about. Now there's going to be some other things. So let me get into the agenda. The way Wedding Wednesdays will always go is we will always greet you. We're going to give you a little bit of House of Grey info, right? Just a little bit. So tonight, we're going to talk about a little bit. Who's up? What's up, Ashley? Ashley D Photography just joined. What's up? What's up? Let me let me uh, wave at you. Thank you for joining in. Once again, Wedding Wednesday is just our way of adding value to brides, right? And the way we add value is to help them save some money because who don't want to save a little bit of bread, right? I know I do. So that's our way on top of all the other things that we do for our brides. So just going over the agenda, we already didn't greet it, everybody. For those who just joined in like Ashley, we are, I am Dorian Gray. I'm the creative director of the House of Gray Weddings based in Atlanta, where we provide romantic weddings for the adventurous bride. We specialize in elopements, engagements, weddings. We also have services in family photography, such as maternity and newborn, as well as family photography. One thing that most people don't know that we do, we actually have a boudoir arm of the House of Grey that we provide boudoir sessions for our brides as well. Also, and here's a fun fact, we're gonna be launching something very cool um, this week is called the Curated Marketplace, and that's basically for all wedding vendors 
who need photography services, just photography. Now, if you need video services, we will refer you to somebody that we trust, all right? So our agenda, we're going to greet you every time. We're going to get into some HO, some House of Grey news. We're going to give you some hot topics also, and then we're going to jump into how just some tips. So we're going to give you two to three tips every week on how you can save money on your wedding because we rather you go to some beautiful Maldives vacation destination spot and have that experience because that's what it's all about, having a beautiful experience. And then we're going to close out with our book of the week and also, yeah, you know, so that's what we're going to do. So look, Real quick, I already told you with the House of Grey, who's on Miss Bucci? What's up? Let me write, let me wave at you. Once again, look, we're going to be here every Wednesday. I know we started at 8 p.m. We're roughly going to be here for about 30 minutes. So at 8.30, I'm going to say goodbye to y'all. But we will be archiving these videos on our YouTube channel that we just launched. So make sure you go to the bio and go follow us on YouTube, right? So... A little bit of House of Grey news. So this weekend we have two weddings, right? So shout out to Diamond. I'm sorry, Dominique and Ronald. They'll be getting married this Friday at the beautiful historic the Cab Museum. And also shout out to Elisa and Rodney who will be getting married on Saturday. We are so happy for our brides that are getting married this Saturday. So we got two brides. We got two weddings this weekend. <laughs> we get so excited. Shout out to our team, Catherine and Elise, that's going to be down with us. Shout out to everybody um, that's going to be coming out with us because the House of Grey is just not me, y'all. All right. We have a team. We have actually we have about two teams. Right. So we have a team of videographers, a team of photographers, right? So when you book photo and video, you're looking at about four to six people in our team. What's up, Miss Bucci? Thanks for the wave. You know what I mean? So you're looking at, so that way you don't have to worry about people missing things. You don't got to worry about the person trying to switch them buttons, missing the kiss. We don't do that. We, we got a good system over here, okay? So shout out to our brides, all right? All the, also... If you don't know about our free engagement sessions, you definitely got to go to the link, click that. It's 100% free, zero obligations to book, meaning you can get a free engagement session and never have to book us because we're all about adding value to this community of brides, right? This is what the House of Grey is all about, adding value, not taking, not always taking, not always taking, but giving. The Bible says, and yes, I said the Bible again because we believe, right? It says the kingdom of heaven is like a man that goes about scattering seeds. So that's all we're doing here. We're just planting seeds of love because that's what it is. If y'all don't know my, I'm the love guy, by the way, but we'll get into that later. That's on I Am King Grey. If you ain't following me on I Am King Grey, that's I A M K I N G. G-R-A-Y on Instagram. Y'all need to check that out because it gets a little bit over there. But anyway, so that's what we're trying to do. So another thing we want to do tonight is shout out a vendor. So every week we're going to have a vendor spotlight. People like Ashley D Photography or somebody else within the wedding industry from top to bottom. So this is your venues, your planners, your photographers, your videographers, your cake artists, florists, DJs, all the way down, right? So we're gonna select somebody to shout out and just blow up their business. We wanna blow up the community, not just for our brides, but also for our colleagues, because Ashley, you're, uh, you're, you're my colleague. You're not my competition, you're my colleague. We're in this thing together, you know? You may shoot a different, shoot different. You may have a different philosophy, but at the end, we're here to service and serve our brides. We're here to make their experience just beautiful, right? So today's vendor spotlight is none other than Rena Flavius of Events by Nova. That's events underscore by underscore Nova. Events by Nova. And Rena. She has this amazing 
all-inclusive wedding package, bros. Now, remember what I told you, this Wedding Wednesday, the core of it is saving them coins. So, now we're going to get into the two to three tips later, but Rena from Events by Nova, right? Eventsbynova.com, right? She has, she's a wedding planner as well as a wedding designer, right? And, okay, full disclaimer too, she actually did my way. I got married on July 10th this year, so uh, there you go. So she was our designer and our, our designer because we'll get into that later. We didn't have a wedding planner per se. We had a day of coordinator, but we're going to teach you about all of that so you can save some money. Hey, if y'all really feeling this, y'all, y'all send me some love. Let me see the hearts. Let me see the hearts. Let me, let me see something. If y'all feeling what I'm talking about, saving these brides money, scattering seeds, planting seeds. I, am I lips dry? Cause I keep looking at my lips. Look, this should have been a mimosa, but I'm, I'm on a fast right now from alcohol. So this is pure orange juice. But normally I have some Pinot. Shout out to Raquel from Raquel Wines Passport to Pinot. But I, once again, our vendor spotlight for this evening is Events by Nova. She has an all-inclusive package, a six-hour package that is for six hours you get all of your planning, all of your decor, all the chairs, everything you can think about. And I will post tomorrow or tonight her actual package. You get photography, you get cakes, you get um, catering for six grand. You get all of your catering, you get the DJ, you get the, the you get staff for the bartender. They don't give you liquor, but you get the bartender too. This is an all-inclusive. Also, she have partnered with different venues around the state of, well, around Atlanta that the venue is included in the price, y'all. Yes, it may be in Swanee. Yes, it may be in Milton. But guess what? We're working on just helping her and partnering with her so she can actually have more venues in this because that's what we do. We're here to plant seeds for everybody that's serving brides, right? So Events by Nova, check her out, eventsbynova.com. Her name is Rena. She has an amazing all-inclusive package. If you're trying to save money, six hours, if you're trying to save money and you're trying to do a $10,000 wedding or under, definitely check out Events by Nova, all right? So moving along. Moving along, moving along. What do we got? What do we got? We got some hot topics to talk about, brides. Hot topics, you know. So the hot topic right now in the wedding community is the Delta variant. The Delta variant. Everybody is on edge because guess what? Hey, if I got something, because I'm so excited, I'm 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 drooling over here. So if y'all see something, say something, because don't be having me. Out here just looking all messed up, okay? I got dressed up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Trying to look my my best for y'all right now. I am getting my hair cut tomorrow, but it's not about me. The hot topic right now is about the Delta variant. As wedding, I mean, not just brides, but wedding vendors, we are on edge because we don't want what happened in 2020. I don't know about y'all, but we took a hit. I mean, we almost closed the doors. Literally closed the doors. I know I got my key. But um, I almost didn't have a house to open, <laughs> to be honest with you, right? So what are we doing for the Delta variant? All my people that's in the chat right now, tell me, what are you got? What do you have planned? Because we need to, we need to look forward. We need to look forward. Who is this? We have Madeline Caldwell Photography just joined. Let me, let me wave at her. We're talking about right now we're in Hot Topics. What are we going to be doing about the Delta variant? A lot of people do not want to get vaccinated, and that's their business, right? This is not about that. But as professionals, what are we doing, not just for our business, but what are we doing to help our brides? Because once again, Wedding Wednesdays is for brides. This is where we add value for brides, right? So is it going to shut down again? Is the industry, what, what's going on? How is it looking? So one thing that we're doing, we're going to wear our mask regardless. 
full disclaimer, yes, I've had my first dose. I'm getting my second dose again. So what who is this? We got y'all know I can't see. Alisa. Alyssa. Alyssa, what's up? Wave at you, Alyssa. Alyssa, we just talking about a hot topic right now. We're talking about what are we going to be doing if the Delta variant gets so bad that next year wedding season or this winter season, because look, at the House of Grey, we shoot weddings all year round. All that wedding season stuff, brides, throw that out the window. It's wedding season whenever you want to get married, huh? It's always a venue somewhere for you to get married and to have a bomb party. Sometimes I cuss, y'all. That was going to be a cuss word right there. So I'm trying to keep it clean. But what are we telling our brides? If Look, if you got any suggestions or what you're doing to kind of like prepare for this Delta variant, please put it in the comments. Let me see the comments. Um, what's going on? This moment photo video. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, Skills Mobile. I see you, Malika. I see you, Malika Chuck. Okay, I'm trying to wave to you this moment. But we're just talking about Welcome to Wedding Wednesday, where we add value for brides. So what are we doing for the Delta variant? That is the hot topic. Us at the House of Grey, we're just making sure we're giving them thoughts to think about, such as maybe you may not want to book a venue indoors. Maybe like we did, like me and my wife did, we literally rented out a beautiful park. We got married at Lillian Webb Park. They have a beautiful gazebo, plus greenery. They have the fountains. They have the, that waterfall stairs. It was beautiful. And it only cost us $200. $200 for the ceremony. We rented it for four hours. No, five hours. I think four or five hours, right? Yeah, four hours, right? It was... Then we, uh, it might have been seven hours anyway, but it was $25 an hour, you know, from the city of Norcross. And that's something that we're going to be teaching you. Like, you don't always have to have your ceremony and reception at the same place. That's cool for the planner, but it's not about the planner. It's about you, Brad. It's about what you want. It's about you saving some coins so you can be in the south of France balling out of control, right? So if y'all got any suggestions about the Delta variant, Please drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. We will be archiving this every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We're going to be here. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We're going to be right here. Who is? Oh, yeah. Skills Mobile. What's up, Malika? So if you got anything, so brides, don't get kind of scared about the Delta variant because, look, America is not about to shut down again. But guess what? You got to do what you got to do. So if you're not vaccinated, I'm not trying to force you to be vaccinated. It's something you may want to consider if you're trying to get married in the next 12 months. All right. So now let's talk about two to three ways that you can save some coins. This is what we came here for to save some money. All right. So I know all look, most of brides, most people, when they get engaged, y'all want to get that. You know what I mean? You want to have like that, that all diamond tiara. You want to have that. Kanye and Kim K, like plush wall, floral wall. But know what? That costs money. Cut that out. All right. And if you're going to get a floral wall, go over there to Michael's or go on like Amazon and get the fake one. Get the fake green wall with the fake flowers. It's still going to look the same in pictures. Don't worry about them haters at your wedding time. Ah, she got the fake flowers. Nobody care about that because you saving coins. And when they see you in that bikini, in the Maldives or in St. Thomas, they're going to be like, mm, yeah, that was the fake wall, right? So the thing I want you to do, the first thing is you got to make a budget. Well, you got to know your priorities and allocate funds properly, wisely. You don't have to spend all your money on each part of your wedding day. Some things get thrown in the trash. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of things that you give out to people, it goes in the garbage, all right? It looks cute and all that, but know your priorities and allocate your money wisely. Number two, you got to make a list, set a budget. Make a list. When when that, when that whoever proposed to whomever, when y'all start planning your wedding, start looking at and say, hey, this is how much we want to spend. That's what me and my wife did, right? 
I love saying that, by the way, y'all. It, it sounds so beautiful to say that. All my married people, give me some hearts. If y'all married in the chat right now, what's going on, love loyal? Love loyal, queen, queen, queen. What up, queen? What up? And hey, y'all need to follow love loyal underscore seven, man. She be, she got, she's in tune with the universe. She's tapped in. Love loyal, thank you for joining Wedding Wednesday. We're just adding value to future brides and brides or just anybody thinking about planning a wedding or anything. So we already talked about know your priorities, allocate your funds wisely, make a list, set a budget. You know, we and look, the, the information that we're going to be giving to you, we have teamed up with wedding vendors from coast to coast, florists, chefs, cake artists, photographers, and we've asked the questions and they've giving us their answers and we've compiled all of that into this wedding Wednesday. So when we giving you this, this ain't just us. This is just the the universe have come together for you, young lady, for you, beautiful queen. And guess what? All our brides are queens. All our grooms are kings. Everybody's a king and queen. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited because love loyal and skills mobile and, and everybody else is in the chat. All right. So, the first way you can save some money is consider having your wedding on other days besides Saturday. Everybody want to get married on Saturday. I don't I don't know who created this, right? I, I do, but I'm not shade. I'm not here for shade right now, right? Can y'all see my background? That is a very Wayne dress. I'm trying to put somebody in there for a style shoot, model shoot. If you're a model and you're a size, I believe it's a six. You need to hit me up because that's a free photo shoot. I'm trying to put somebody in there. That's all I'm saying. That's a very Wayne dress. I have not been able to use it yet. I need a I need a model. All right. So consider other days of the week, such as Friday and Sunday. All right. We literally got married on a Sunday, which was super cheap, right? Super cheap. And we didn't do a traditional wedding venue, but we won't get into that. But just just understand this. Site fees on these days, on Friday and Saturdays, could be up to $4,000 less, all right? And your beverage minimums are way lower on Friday and Sunday. Now, why is that? Anybody in the chat can tell me why? Why do you think it's cheaper to get married on a Friday or a Sunday? Why would a wedding venue be cheaper on a Friday or a Sunday? Put the answer in the chat, y'all. Put the answer in the chat. Hey, if y'all not following out of Gray, go ahead and follow us, man. Look, it's not about views. We talk about vision. We posted that it's vision or views. Look, it's not about how many people like our stuff. It's just about how many people can we have access to to give vision to and also execute their vision. That's what it's all about. It's not about us. All right. We were put here on this planet to do good works. All right. All right. So. Have your wedding. The answer is because it's not that many people getting married on those days. And those days, they just have a venue that's sitting there and they're not making no money. So they're willing to cut the price, cut catering, cut all of this stuff for a cheaper price to get you in there. So look at having your wedding on Friday, Thursday. It doesn't matter. Sunday. That's one way for you to save major money. I'm telling you. What can you do that extra four thousand dollars? Maldives, Saint Thomas, Martinique, huh? Number two, all my brides really love. I know y'all love letterpress, right? I know you love it because they got that raised lettering and design, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of art, and I'm not. I'm not. See, I'm trying not to cuss tonight. I'm not crapping on letterpress. I, I love letterpress. But letterpress is expensive, okay? So here's our tip. Here's our tip. You want to save some money? On Wedding Wednesday, you want to save some money, brides? Look, splurge on the main invitation, just the main one, right? And make sure the main invitation is going to people who you know are coming, right? Every Look, here's a little, here's a little secret. Everybody got tiers of people who they invite to weddings, all right? Some people in the top tier, like immediate family, immediate friends. And then they start looking at who I really rock with, right? So if you're sending out paper 
invitations. And I'll get to that another time talking about digital invitations. But if you just got to have paper invitations, make sure. You know what? Shout out to everybody that's still on the chat with me right now, man. I don't know if this is a part of your life, but you know what? I love you for rocking with me right now. You know what I mean? I would have been here all by myself if I had to, but I really thank you, Skills Mobile. I thank you, Love Lawyer. I thank everybody who checked in. Look, like I said, it's vision over views, man. I, I, of course, I want to see 20,000 people, but you know what? God has sent you me tonight for this purpose. I don't know if it's about that. I said the kingdom is like a man that goes about scattering seeds, but it's about planning in people's lives. That's your legacy. And that's what we're doing here on Wedding Wednesday. So look, everybody, look, this would have been a mimosa, but I'm on an alcohol fast right now. But definitely have your glass of wine, your tea, whatever it's going to be while we do Wedding Wednesday. So I'm going to take a little sip because I don't know if my lips are dry. Because I really can't do like, anyway, chapstick and all that. I don't like stuff on my lips except my wife, huh? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. This ain't Sex Up Saturdays, which is coming soon. But anyway, so, and then choose a less expensive paper, a less lay flat design for all your insert cards. This can save you at least $500 for a pack of for a pack of 100, or not pack, but for 100 invitations. So right now, just on those two tips, you just saved up to $4,500 on your wedding. That's what Wedding Wednesdays is about. Wedding Wednesday is definitely about, also look, I'm a photographer, I'm a wedding photographer and videographer. So I'm gonna give you a little quick tip. This ain't even, this ain't even on the list. Instead of hiring a photographer or a videographer for a full day. Now, I know most of us black folk, we think a full day is eight hours, but it's not. Okay. A full day. When I say full day, some people are literally having a photographer show up at 5 a.m. all the way to 3 a.m. Do you understand? I don't know if you got that kind of budget. I know we didn't. Right. I know we ain't had that kind of money, right? And if we did have that kind of money, <laughs> y'all know what I'm about to say. We wouldn't have spent that anyway. So, photographer. For photographer, videographer, make sure that you book for an 8 to 10 hour day max. 8 to 10 hour day max. And another little tip is make sure that your photographer and videographer are the same team. I know that's shady because we provide photo and video. I already told y'all earlier, when you book us for photography and videography, you're gonna get at least four to six people because it's a video and photography. That way, everybody's getting those dope things for you. So look, that just saved you another 2,000, 2,500. So we already up to like $7,000 on the first night. On the first night? On the first night, we saving about $7,000 Come on, brides. That's what we do. Now, we're about to close out. But before we close out, i like to say thank you to Jasmine and Matthew for they they were one of our brides, our House of Great Brides. And then, um, you know, they actually invited. Um, she wasn't my wife then, but my fiance. And she invited me at the same token. So I was the photographer and I was a guest, which is crazy. But they sent us this beautiful Thank you, Card. So, Jasmine and Matthew, thank you so much for sending that. Before we go out, we always do the book of the week because we believe that knowledge is power and all of our books are going to be in the wedding space. So, we have a book called Napoli Ever After by Trisha R. Thomas. Napoli Ever After. Now, most of y'all know that, yes, she was on Oprah Books book list. She was a New York Times bestseller, but she also have a movie. This is one of four or five books in a series. So Trisha R. Thomas, Napoli Ever After, but Netflix actually made a film starting Sanaa Lathan. So go check that out. Um, so that is our book of the week. And once again, our vendor spotlight, because we do vendor spotlights every Wednesday, our vendor spotlight for tonight was Rena Flavius of Events by Nova, 
who has a beautiful, all-inclusive $6,000 package where you get all of your decor, all your chairs, all of that linen, all of that beautiful de decorations. You get your cake, you get your DJ, you get photography, you get the bartenders, you get catering. You get catering for that price. It's a six hour package. And if you go with the venue that she recommends, the venue is free also. So that's events by Nova on Instagram. It's events underscore by underscore Nova. But you can go directly to her website, eventsbynova.com. So we're about to close out. I went four minutes over, but it's cool because y'all rock with me. So I'm always going to leave you this quote. It says, being someone's first love is great, but to be their last love is beyond perfect. Continue to love yourself at the highest of heights. Spread love, plant seeds of love in the earth, and I guarantee that a harvest is coming back to you. Peace. And you know what? Always keep your key. That is the major key for tonight. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. Wednesday at 7 p.m. This will be archived in two days on our YouTube channel. If you're not following us on YouTube, go to the link, hit that button, go to YouTube, go ahead and follow us, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. And of course, I don't know how to stop this thing, y'all. <laughs> All righty.